The member for McMahon. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. I refer to the Treasurer's previous positions on tax and their current status. Increase the GST, shelved. Never increase tobacco excise, gone. Deal with the excesses in negative gearing, dead. Never increase super tax, buried. Cut personal income taxes, cremated. Yeah. Isn't it the case that the only policies this government really believes in are the extreme cuts, including those in the 2014 budget? Yeah. Treasurer has the call. Mr Speaker, I thank the member for his question, and he raised many particular issues. And one of those he raised is, was on superannuation. And I note that in July of 2013—this is when the, the, the member was in government—he said this, the Rudd Labor government—that's what it was at the time—will uh, make no major changes to superannuation tax policy for five-year periods, promoting confidence and stability in the superannuation system. Well, I'll remind the member that it's, uh, it's not five years since he made that statement, but uh, if he wants to make points, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, if he wants to make points mm. about uh, changes of position or things of this nature, Mr. Speaker, when mm. he was on these benches, he said he wouldn't change superannuation for five years. Mm. For five years, that's mm. what he said. Now, Mr. Speaker, there are legitimate issues that the government is looking at. That six months ago, six months ago, the, the prime minister had us look at these matters, and that's what we've been doing. But I tell you the difference between what this side of the house does when we look at things like superannuation and what th those on that side of the house do. Remember on this Isaac's side of the house, we're warned. interested in making superannuation have more choice, be more flexible, be more fit for purpose for the working patterns of the 21st century, to be fairer, to be more targeted, Mr. Speaker, and that's what we're working on. What we would like to see is a superannuation system where all workers, Mr. Speaker, can decide where their money goes and where is it saved. We, what we'd like to see is a superannuation system where there's independence of directors that sit on and oversight the money of those workers, Mr. Speaker. But those officers don't believe in this. When they look at superannuation, they don't want to make it better. They just want to tax it more. That's all they want to do, Mr. Speaker. The only thing they want to do when it comes to superannuation is tax it more. And you ask yourself. Why do they want to tax superannuation more? Because they just want to spend more, Mr Speaker. They just want to spend more and more and more, Mr Speaker, and they have learnt nothing in their time in opposition that would give anybody any reason how they have earned the right to even put forward a proposition that would have them return to these benches. They have learnt nothing about their high levels of spending. In fact, $60 billion, Mr. Speaker, of additional expenditure over and above what is currently in the budget and forward estimates, $60 billion is what they would propose to do, Mr. Speaker. And to pay for that, just $1 billion in savings and $7 billion in extra taxes. So just how many more taxes, Mr Speaker, will those opposite have to put on to keep pace with their addiction to spending? Taxing and spending is not a plan for jobs and growth, Mr Speaker. It is the threat to the transitioning economy that is going to under, underpin growth and jobs in this economy. That is why they cannot be trusted to manage the successful transition of the Australian economy. Yeah.